Hello everybody, this is the help you need with another 3ds Max video tutorial and today I'm going to show you guys how to create a computer computer monitor that looks uh, something like this as you can see here's a render of it and uh, yeah it's basically what we're going to create today um, alright <clears throat> the way we're going to do this is by um, first we're going to be creating a box All right, so let's go ahead and do that now we're going to do this in the front viewport Okay, so we'll go ahead and create a box uh, about that big and about that thin. So we want it to be a widescreen uh, monitor. Alright, then we can go ahead and convert it to an editable poly. And we're going to work out the front first. So what we're going to do with the front is we're going to bevel it in like that. And then we're going to take it, we're going to push it out and bevel it out just a tad bit. And this will give you like a little edge around your... Uh, <clears throat> around your frame this will give you the actual frame for your monitor okay uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to the back over here and we're going to use this inset tool we're going to grab this and we're going to pull it in alright once we get about that far we're going to uh, scale it on the x-axis and we're going to make about we want about a square in there um, and that'll help us with uh, getting the right look all right then we're going to bevel this in like that we're just going to extrude the rest of this and uh, we're going to rotate just like that just to make a curve <coughs> okay After this we only have one more extrude to do pull this straight down and move it this way and now we'll actually do a bevel. Alright, so we're going to pull this down and we're going to make it come out. And extrude it down. And that's it. Alright, and uh, as far as modeling goes, this is extremely beginner. So, uh, hopefully you guys uh, can do this on your own. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you guys though is some smoothing groups. And, uh, well, before I do that, I just want to pull this down a little bit, or pull this up a little bit. Yeah, okay, and make this a little bit larger, so. Okay. Alright, uh, and what we're going to do now is add smoothing groups. Uh, but basically, we're just going to smooth the, uh, like, stem part of this. So, okay, come down all the way to the bottom here. Well, close to. Go ahead oops do I use nerves right here and we're going to apply a smoothing group to that as well as to this uh, the screen and that will get you a little bit better of a smoothing there uh, I'll go ahead and render it out with this little teapot and as you can see you now have a uh, flat screen monitor um, go ahead and do it from the side. Now, I would suggest adding a smoothing group to the whole thing. <coughs> Besides um, the sides. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and I'm going to drag um, up to the sides. And this will, uh, Get rid of all these. All right, take off some of the groups, add some of the groups. And all we're gonna do here is take off the smooth the group. So there, and it's a little bit better looking. And there's your flat screen monitor. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is a just quick video tutorial. Um, just showing you a little bit about smooth the groups and extremely basic modeling. Uh, this tutorial I should have probably done first because it's a lot easier even than uh, a wine glass. Alright, um, the next tutorial I do will be on um, splines uh, and getting used to those. Um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I'll have more tutorials coming soon. And uh, hopefully you guys will keep...
continue to watch my videos. All right.